Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the T95Z Plus Android TV box. And I want to test out some MAME games. Now this is a cool little box. Uh, they're $50 to $60 depending on where you get them. It has an 8-core Amlogic S912 CPU. Four of the cores are clocked at 1.56 GHz and the other four at 1 GHz. They do advertise this as a 2 GHz CPU, but it is not. It also has a 3-core Mali T820 GPU. It's pretty decent. It's more powerful than the S905X GPU. We have 2 GB of RAM in this one, 16 GB of storage, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, two USB ports, Ethernet, optical audio out, and an SD card slot. Now, when buying one of these boxes for old school retro gaming, make sure it has Bluetooth built in because most of these Chinese boxes do not support wired controllers like the Xbox 360 controller or the PS3 controller. Something about how they have their Android set up, uh, it just doesn't work with it. So you need Bluetooth or the Madcat CTRLR controller. It is Bluetooth, but it also comes with a USB dongle that works with every Android box that I've ever tested. You plug it in and it automatically works. Another cool thing is on the bottom, I can switch to mouse mode. So now I have my mouse set up right from my controller. Let's get right into it. Now I have two versions of MAME, MAME for all and MAME for droid. We could use RetroArch, but I do prefer using MAME. If you're just wanting to run MAME games, I do prefer using one of these. We'll go MAME for Droid because this runs older games. Now, you need to do a lot of research with MAME because there's a lot of games that won't work unless you have the parent ROM, and there's some games that just won't work flat out. So what I did was I imported all of my games from my PC to my internal storage here. It will run off the USB, but I decided to put it on the internal because it's not that big anyway. Like I was saying, there are games that are not going to start for us. So... Let's go ahead and try a game that I, games that I know work right out of here. I don't have this set up completely, but we can run some games. We're going to try Amazing Maze. So I'm over on the right side here. And you know, these are very old arcade games here. We're going to move on to some of my favorite arcade games. They're side-scroll adventure beat-em-up games. But for right now, I wanted to show you this old-school stuff running here. I'm gonna beat him. Sweet! So we'll back out of here, I'll just hit back on my controller. I have pre-configured my Mad Cats controller. Very easy to do. So you're gonna run into some games that won't start, like this. Missing. Now I don't have it set up completely, I just imported it directly from my PC. I'm gonna try some games that I know work with this, and I need to find some here. Boot Hill. Insert a coin. Ah, he got me. So yeah, these are really old here, and a lot of them do work straight out of the box. I really do enjoy playing these older ones here. Like, we can play Burning Rubber. Really cool game here. And there's not much to these older games. But right now, what we're going to do is go to some side-scrolling awesome beat-em-up games. Some of my favorite games for arcade. And when I think of an arcade game, I think of things like Turtles in Time, Punisher, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Those are my kind of arcade games. Let's go back out of here. I'm just going to exit MAME for Droid. Because MAME for Droid runs a different ROM set than MAME for All. MAME for All runs some really good games here. I have it set up the same way. And I should have my FPS listed up in the top here. So right now, I have Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Punisher, and The Simpsons. This is the four-player set, so we're going to have to start with Marge. There are several versions of this. If you get the two-player set, you can pick exactly what character you want. This is the four-player one. I actually didn't mean to import this, but since I have it, let's go ahead and start it. Okay. 
So we'll have to start with Marge, like I said. The FPS is listed up here. And I'm just inserting coins, if you can hear that. I should have my sound here, but I don't think it's being recorded. There we go, a little bit of sound. But it runs flawlessly on this S912. I expected it to. Pretty much, you should be able to play... There are tons of games, so I'm gonna go with 70% of the main games at full speed. There are so many games it's ridiculous. Some games just don't run well on any system at all. But I gotta say, 70% of the games that you can run on MAME, that's thousands of games that are gonna run perfectly. There's only a select few that I really like to play, and I know a lot of people are into emulation to build up a collection. My main thing with emulation is you don't see me have 5,000 games in my retro pie, or any of these videos I do, because these are the main games that I play. I'm not in it for the collection factor, I'm in it for the gameplay factor. I'll pick games that I love to play and games that I play regularly, and I'd rather have, let's just say, 100 games instead of 5,000 games in all my systems. I have tons of ROMs, but I don't play many of them at all because they're just not good games to me. It's back out of this one, and we are going to try another game. Lou Punisher. One of the best arcade games ever made. Put some credits in. And we'll go with the Punisher here. I'm on joystick one, so I have to pick the Punisher. Such a great game, though. I mean, if you get two people playing this game, you guys can have a blast doing this. There's not much to it, just like these beat em up games, just like most beat em up games. But that's the point. I mean, these are just old arcade games that are super fun to play. And I love the graphics, you know. I'm not a big Call of Duty fan. Actually, I hate Call of Duty. I'd rather go back and play an old arcade game with pixelated graphics. It just, it makes me feel good. It is a nostalgic feeling, and I know a lot of people out there think the same thing. But they're fun to me, and I love playing them. Let's get out of here. This is 60 FPS up in the top right-hand corner. We'll try one more game here, but I just wanted to showcase that this does work with MAME, and you'll be able to play thousands and thousands of MAME games on this unit. I'll leave a link in the description for an Amazon page to buy one of these. And GearBest. I got mine from GearBest. It did take about two weeks to get in. Got here perfectly. Box was a little beat up, but I haven't had any trouble with them. This is the fourth thing I've ordered from them. I've never had any trouble at all. Gotta pick Hannity. And I'll be making a video on Neo Geo also. You'll see a lot of beat em up games in there. Um, that's pretty much my favorite platform ever. My favorite kind of game. Side scrolling beat em up games. Very simple. They're just so much fun. They're very repetitive. But I grew up playing them and I just can't stop. I should have put X Men on here. That is one of my favorite games ever made for any system. I'm a big X-Men fan, always have been, and uh, it's just good memories going to a six-player cab with X-Men. So that's it for now, guys. Let's get out of here. This is the... T95Z Plus Android TV box. I love it. Media streaming's very tight on it. Native Android games don't work so well, like Asphalt and stuff like that, but I'm really not into those. I'm into old school retro emulation. And this handles MAME, Neo Geo, SNES, Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, depending on where you live. PlayStation 1, it does Dreamcast okay, and I'll be making some videos on PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast tomorrow. Showcase that to you guys. Appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, 
Thanks for watching.